The work environment. How was it like for you as far as in, in prison in the work environment? What area and work were you doing while you was incarcerated in prison? Bro, man, real talk, home. You know what I mean? Bro, boy, man, I've been a slave for these motherfuckers, man, pretty much the whole time I was dying there, man. They had me in them fields, bro. They had me in them fields, man. I, I think uh, out of 28 years, Hollywood, man, um, um, I stayed in the whole squad um, um, for half of that, bro. Half, half that time, bro. I stayed in the whole squad. Uh, 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 I had to, um, I had to end up hurting the law beyond first aid. I got five years. I did two years in SIG. I got out. They sent me to, um, 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 Ellis unit. And so I was on what they call, uh, 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 security precaution designated where I had to do 10 years. I had to do 10 years on closed custody. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, and, but they, you know, I had my class status. I was like, I was on close custody for like 10 years and I was able to uh, get contact visit, uh, bust the maximum on cons commissary and shit like that. Long as I kept my shit right or whatever. Right. But I had to do, I, I had to do it in the field. And so you already know the only like, bro, I had to work in order to get free. I had to work, bro. I couldn't just be saying like, man, uh, cause I had that type of time. You know what I mean? My time was aggravated. I had to do my time day for day, bro. You know what I mean? So I wasn't afforded the opportunity to say, man, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kick back and lay up and shit until it's time for them to release me. You know what I mean? I didn't have that luxury, bro. So I had to work for my freedom, bro. And I did it in the whole squad, bro. And then once I had uh, got off that uh, security precaution designated, um, uh, most of my time I did, uh, working in the kitchen and shit. You know what I mean? I worked in the kitchen, bro. I worked in the ODR, uh, uh, um, and, you know, I worked on, uh, on the breakfast shift on the dial line and shit like that, bro. But yeah, you know, uh, in the beginning, my time was hard, bro. Cause I made it hard. I made it hard. You know what I mean? And yeah, then man. I start, I started growing up and yeah, I started man. learning. Yeah, hey. Man. Let me ask yes, you, because most people, when they hear a slave free, yeah, as you worked in the field, right? Yeah, they really don't know that it was real. A lot of I did 25, it was, bro. I did twenty-five. You did twenty-eight. Yes, sir. And we both know it was real legalized slave. However, yeah, we were slaves in different yeah. ways right yeah and we explain it different right yeah but i want you to do man because me and you both know what it was like but you're gonna have people that watch this video don't know what it's like to be a slave at back then in texas Department of criminal justice right and Shit. our, our versions are different right yeah and in your personal opinion and your time spent in there mm -hmm. What was slavery like to you when you turned out that back gate? Hey, um, when I when I hit Ferguson, bro, like like man, when when I was on Cofield, you know they had they tried to uh uh uh, uh downplay the shit like um um uh what they call that shit? I'm trying to think, bro. Uh um uh. Uh, they call it some little squad and shit where you the garden squad or whatever, right? You know what I mean? And so, so like when I hit Ferguson, it was hard cold, bro. Man, like, like man, when they had me in them cotton fields, bro. Like, man, the only thing I'm thinking about is my ancestors, man. I'm like, man, these bitches got me. In the motherfucking uh, cotton field, picking cotton with these white boys on his horses, talking shit to a nigga. You know what I mean? They like they can't say the the the, the nigga word, the n word, but in so many ways they letting you know 
uh uh pick that cotton nigga you know what i mean boy i feel i feel like shit, bro you know what i mean nigga was laying down so a lot of times man man you know brothers would start a riot you know what i mean just so they didn't have to turn out bro they would start riot because they didn't want to turn out to the uh uh uh, uh cotton fields and shit, you know what i mean because of they pride bro you know what I mean? It was crazy. Nigga would rather fight and try to kill each other just not to go out there and uh, have their pride taken and be emasculated, you know what I mean, by being in them cotton fields, bro. That's how I felt, bro. Even though I never kicked off the rides, I, man, my nigga, I felt some type of way, bro. You know what I mean? And like, I'm going I'm to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you, homie. Uh, uh, because now, you know, uh, 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 I'm a believer. I, I always been a believer, bro. But when I went to the penitentiary, I got away from God, bro. I did. You know what I mean? Especially like when I was in them cotton fields and shit. I just felt like God forsaking me. I'm like, man, this is this my destiny, God. This is what my life is right here.